is good you it's your boy Tom back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about the the common question that a lot of people have which is hey Ty which game mode should I grind what is the most worth it to grind this season we're gonna be talking about that question in this video because I think that question is nearly impossible to answer now before I dive any further into that if you are new to the channel, man, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road towards 130,000 subscribers. When I look up and down all of these Ruby rewards, there's not a lot that catches my eye. You know, I really thought Chris Morris was going to be fantastic. I mean, Cliff Robinson is good. But when you look up and down these Ruby rewards, there's none that, like, catch your eye. Like, even if we look at last season, as far as the rewards, there weren't that many that really caught my eye. I mean, Bruce Bowen and Alonzo Mourning definitely were probably the two best. Julius Randle wasn't horrible. But there wasn't a ton to really look at. Now, it's the same thing this season, right? Will is obviously fantastic as level 40. Shay, obviously fantastic as your ultimate reward. But when people ask me, Ty, what is the best mode to grind? I don't know if I've got the answer to that. Because I think it's a difficult answer. Because the mode you realistically should grind is what gets you to wield the fastest. I mean, as it stands right now, none of these really real Ruby rewards are that big of difference makers. And so just honestly, my answer would be just play whatever you have fun playing. Obviously, Will Chamberlain is the highlight of this reward collection with Shay. And, and so just play what you have fun with. Now, what mode gets Wilt the fastest? Honestly, I think it's triple threat offline if you can get through games in like three minutes. I've had a lot of success, made a lot of strides in salary cap as well. So again, just play what you have fun with. And for me, salary cap's kind of what I've been grinding the most because I really like E. Jinlian. But with the, as bad as they made Terry Dishinger, it just kind of ruins the whole motivation behind grinding salary cap. Again, that's probably the mode I'm most excited about. That's probably going to be the mode I finish grinding first. But I'm more so grinding salary cap for the MT than nearly anything else. And that's sad, right? I should be excited to get Ruby Chris Morrison Unlimited. He should be one of the top couple small forward shooting guards in the entire game. I should be excited to get Cliff Robinson as one of the best power forwards in the game. But he's probably, you know, in that 5 to 10 range. And he's probably the best overall Ruby reward. There's just not a lot here. Now, one thing that's is, 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 that I got to mention, guys, is the agendas. We're probably going to see multiple agendas this season. We'll probably see a new gauntlet. Just a lot of new free agendas for, you know, really solid cards. Even with the Dwayne Wayne grind, right? You had to grind a lot of different game modes. And that's the one thing I would just kind of wait and see. Play whatever you're having fun with right now and then just pay attention to the agendas because in the agendas that's probably where we're going to see the best free cards outside of wilt and shay in my team from top to bottom guys i mean there's just not a lot of excitement honestly i'd even say this you know grind whatever mode you're going to make the most mt with because michael jordan is like you know kind of the ultimate re re mode reward right and i know he's mt but like there's no ruby player as far as mode rewards that is worth it you know and we can go back into past years like we saw some decent level 40s in the past but i mean there was a lot of always you know triple threat rewards or unlimited rewards there was something somewhat worth grinding and outside of shay and will there really isn't this season. And again, Shea and Will are absolutely incredible. I don't want to discredit those. I'm glad 2K is making a really solid level 40 card and uh, the ultimate grind in Shea, absolutely incredible as well. That gives us at least something to grind for. But once you get Wilt, I mean, I guess you can grind for Shea. But the hard part with Shea is you've got to win 100 triple threat offline games. You got to win 50 triple threat online games. You got to complete unlimited. Like the average person isn't getting SGA either. Uh, the average person is wanting to pick like one game mode. For me and my no money spent, for example, they're wanting to pick one game mode and grind through that game mode and, and get it done. And if I had to give you guys advice right now, I'd say salary caps your best bet. Just because salary cap, I think, is rewarding for E, the next reward, who knows is who it's going to be. And they probably will up Terry, uh, update Terry along the way. Plus, in salary cap, the games are short. They're fun. You can use different lineups. It just is somewhat fun. But even right now, right? Co-op has double XP. Maybe that's the most worth it because that's going to get you closer to Will. It really is just kind of a tough question that even I hate answering because I don't know what the most worth it is. Like you'd think, oh, co-op, but when you get to 50 wins, you get Raymond Felton. 
That's a horrible reward for grinding 50 wins. There's just no real excitement beyond with really any of these Ruby rewards. And I think that's kind of the, the biggest disappointment that is going on in the community. I'd even go as far as to saying grinding these, you know, challenges are more worth it than anything else else focusing on these agendas while you grind right or is more important than anything else just again for the sole fact that it's just in my opinion not worth it like this equal chance pack i do believe is more worth it than anything else think about it like this what mode do i have the most fun playing and you know if i get chris morris i'll get twenty thousand mt along the way you know if i go and get a guy let's say like ruby e i'll get ten thousand mt you know, 12,000 MT uh, along the way, as well as this uh, Showtime and a uh, level up deluxe pack. That's kind of the train of thought you guys have to think about because otherwise you're gonna drive yourself crazy trying to grind for these Ruby cards that ultimately aren't good. Now for me, yes, on this account, I'm gonna be able to get Shay. I'm going to get Will. And so that's who I'm personally grinding for. But as far as these Ruby rewards, there's nobody here that's really excited. Same thing with the token market. There's nobody really even worth it in the token market. Like I'm gonna get these guys obviously because they go towards SGA, but there's not one of these cards that I'm like, wow, this card is fantastic. I don't mind Phil Jackson. I think Phil Jackson has the potential to be decent, but there's nobody in here that I'm just like stunned or blown away by. I grinded for my weekend ring, and that is another thing that you guys can grind for since it is the weekend. You guys can get your unlimited ring, which not only do you go, it doesn't go towards that. It also does go towards the season agendas. You get a lift off deluxe pack. So again, just multiple things that you you guys can think about my team unlimited decently rewarding this weekend because the ring but when you look at it from the outside looking in you got to win what 30 25 games for chris morris that just seems absolutely ridiculous in my opinion i mean for a ruby card who when i look at my squad isn't going to make the squad none of these cards are going to make the squad donovan mitchell for ten dollars is better than any ruby reward to me, I'm glad they made Donovan Mitchell good. He should be good. But there should at least be a Ruby reward that's good enough to go out there and compete at the same level as Donovan Mitchell. I saw a video today. Somebody said, I'm going to be ranking the Ruby My Team rewards. And uh, they couldn't even rank them. Like, they, they would shout out Mike Ike. They literally couldn't even rank them because they're all so mid, so mediocre. Try to have fun in this season playing your favorite game mode. And I saw another person that said, why would I buy MJ to grind for Chris Morris? Another very solid point. What's the point of having Michael Jordan when Chris Morris is your ultimate reward? Let me know your thoughts on things down below in the comments because I'm very eager to hear your guys' opinions. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to As always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.